Hey guys, it's time for um, September favorites, which is crazy. I'm so excited though. I have some really good stuff to show you. And in the last month's video, when I didn't have that many things to show you, I kind of like mentioned it in the video and a lot of people said to just like include random things. So I have two extremely random things in this video that I'm gonna show you. One's not so random, one's completely random. But I feel like it kind of just adds a little twist to these videos and doesn't get repetitive and boring and talk about the same products. And I feel like this stuff I'm going to show you might actually benefit some people. So I'm going to save that stuff for the end. Mm -hmm. <sighs> My phone's ringing. Start, starting with um, the blush that I used this month, basically the whole month, was benefit, then it, <laughs> hello, Benefits Hervana. Um, I just kind of pulled this out of my my little blush drawer and I've been using it ever since. It's a really nice pink blush. I just swirl all the colors together and it just gives a really nice pink flush to your cheeks. And um, in the summertime it was a little too light for me but now it shows up perfectly and it's just a really gorgeous flush pink, pink flush. It's very natural um, on the cheeks so I really like that. Um, this month I dabbled with a lot of face masks. I, I don't know, I was just really into doing masks and I did um, I did them about two times a week and I even had um, my mom did them with me and so um, I kind of just wanted to show you all the masks that I've been using there really hasn't been one or two that stood out to me the most I really like all of these the first one is the mask of Magna Minty that I showed you I got this back in the summer from Lush and it's a very minty scented um, mask and it kind of has some chunky green particles and it hardens on your face and then you just wash it off with warm water. And I've not only been doing masks on my face but also on my back because I still am breaking out there. Um, I've also been using the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask. I know this used to get talked about a lot. And honestly it smells pretty much identical to the Mask of Magna Minty and some people have even said this is basically the same product and I would agree with that. This is a very creamy smooth consistency and it doesn't have like the chunky particles. So in that aspect I do prefer this because it's a lot neater and cleaner to take off. I've mentioned with this one um, it can get very messy because of those particles so you always have to make sure you're either in the shower or over a sink because they fall off whereas this is very smooth doesn't have particles it just kind of rinses off but um, I think this was only like $3.99 at um, Sally's I, I don't remember how much this was but I do recommend both of them I really like them they both just kind of harden and then you leave them on for like 10 minutes and then you rinse it off. And the other mask that I've been using is the purifying mask from Cebu. And um, same thing, using it on my face and on my back. And it's basically a little cream consistency with tiny little particles. Very like, very tiny, tiny little particles. And it just basically brings all the impurities to the surface and then you rinse them clean. And I really like this and right now there's a, a promotion with Cebu for 40% off. If you missed my video on that, I'll just put a, the coupon code in the description box if you want to try this out. Um, I definitely have noticed a difference with this. And I will say, aside from the breakout that I have going on my forehead, I have not experienced any other breakouts with any of these masks. So I think it's definitely kept those breakouts at bay, and it's keeping this one to just that location, apparently. So really like the masks. Also, I was kind of just going through my drawers and like finding products that I want to just use up, and I even tossed out a bunch of stuff. And I came across the Tresemme Heat Tamer Spray. Um, and if you guys have been watching my video for a while, you know I've never really been one to use heat protectant on my hair. I've I really honestly, between you and I, don't believe in them. Um, I've never used them for the longest time before I even knew they existed, and I haven't suffered any damage with my hair or noticed any damage. So I really can't say that, you know, I was lacking this in my life or needed it, but I wanted to use it up. And the thing I like most about this is the smell. It smells super great. And I usually spray this before I blow it dry and then before I curl it, which I pretty much do on a daily basis. And I spray it through my hair. I really like the nozzle that it sprays out of and um, take a brush and then I just brush it so it's like evenly distributed. And again, I can't say that I notice a difference and my hair is not getting damaged or frayed but um, it's it leaves a nice scent in my hair and 
I guess it's doing a good job in protecting it. It says it's a protectant and styling spray. I wouldn't consider this, like I don't use it to style my hair. I just kind of use it before I apply the heat to it. So I do like this. I would like to think that it's working or doing something, but like I said, I've, I've never really experienced with this stuff, so I can't really tell a difference. Um, but I would like to think that it's helping in some way. Um, okay, and then this is the last makeup favorite that I have. And they are the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Lipsticks. Both the natural and the intense. Um, the natural is the cutest little thing. I just used this in my little get ready video. Um, it's like mangled. It was in my purse, so it's probably melted. But um, it's just a little mini that I got from Sephora with my points. Um, and I really, really love these lipsticks. I used to say that MAC was like the end all be all. I love MAC lipsticks, but these have definitely taken over uh, my love. The natural lipstick is just, just that. It's, it's kind of like, um, it's almost like a, a nicer quality version of the Revlon Lip Butters. It gives you a little bit of pigmentation, a lot of moisture, and it does last on your lips a pretty long time. I only have it in the red, but I would definitely pick up more colors. I'm just trying to find those colors that I don't already have in my collection. But if you are looking for, if the Revlon Lip Butters don't work for you, which I've heard a lot of people say they find them drying, I personally don't, but um, I would try the Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Natural lip, lip Colors because I think that you'll enjoy them a little bit better because they are super moisturizing. And then the Rouge Artist Intense. This is my, this was the first color that I got. It's number 34, and it's the color I have on my lips right now. I would consider it to be a bright, but it's a very understated bright. I feel like it's very wearable. Um, the, the color payoff is amazing. They're very creamy. There are like shimmy, shimmy, <laughs> shimmer versions of these. I only have the cream versions, but, uh, and this is number 34. I don't know if I said that. The color payoff is amazing, but what I love about these the most is they do not dry your lips out whatsoever. They're completely moisturizing, and on top of that, they are completely long-wearing. Like, eat, drink, kiss like they stay put not as vibrant of course it's gonna wear a little bit but the mo for the most part it almost leaves like a stain behind and it just I love this like I can't say enough about it and that's not even with using any kind of lip primer lip liner nothing like that they just last on their own and I absolutely love these would definitely recommend it like I said this is 34 and I like it it's a very cool tone pink but um it's almost like I, I've described it as a watermelon pink. I really like it. And I have number 37 too, which is more like um, like a coral pink. I think that's in my purse downstairs. But um, no, it's not. It's right here. This is number 37. And this is a little bit more of like the coral pink. It's a little bit like Mac Impassioned. Um, but just such great formulas. Like, Usually when you get the really long wearing formulas, you kind of suffer with the really drying consistency, but with these, you just get the best of both worlds. Amazing, amazing product. New favorite lipsticks by far. Okay, for one regret that I had, and I think I might even have talked about this before. This is such a bummer to me, and I, oh, it kills me to even say this, but it's the YSL Volupt Sheer Candies lipsticks. This is the second one I've had. This is number four. Um, I am going to just use this up because it's expensive, but this, what I think it's like succulent pomegranate. They're pretty sheer, but they do give you like a nice little tint. They're very, very moisturizing. They smell and have a really nice taste, but they slip off your lips in like five seconds. I just feel like this is such a fail product, and I feel like these are very hyped on YouTube. I think they get a lot of talk, a lot of good talk, um, maybe they just don't work for me, but in my experience, like I said, this is the second color I've tried, um, does nothing for me, like nothing. I feel like it's such a waste of money, and I really just feel like we're paying for the packaging. Um, it's a nice kind of pick-me-up, like, to put on your lips when you know you're going out, but at the same time, it, like, wears away within... I would say within the hour, like maybe even within the half hour. It just has really poor payoff. Um, take that back. Really poor staying power. The payoff is decent. Um, they're pretty sheer for the most part, but just 
they just don't last on my lips at all. It's really frustrating because I really love the packaging and I, like I said, I like the I like the sheer color that it, this one gives. Love the smell of it, but just a waste. I will not be buying any more of these, unfortunately. All right, so for my random favorites, this one is a candle. Not that random. Um, this is really pretty. We have this in our bedroom. I just bought this. At, these are from Bath and Body Works. This is my number one all-time favorite candle of all time from Bath and Body Works, but it's only available in the fall time, and it's the uh, it's leaves. And I have this one, and then the White, Bo white Barn Candle Candle Co. came out with a leaves version that's white, and I have that one burning downstairs. To me, they smell very similar, very very similar. Um, if you're gonna try this, I would definitely just get the original. Oh my god! If you're like a fall lover like I am, and you're just obsessed with all things fall, you need this candle in your life. It's seriously amazing, and. I have it burning like constantly on the weekends and it just brings so much warmth to our home and like people always compliment when they come over like it's just such a good smell it's so good it's like it's like a spice and it's um cinnamony it's just so good I just love it I can't say enough about it I recommend it to everybody like everybody in my real life I'm always like you need to pick up leaves from Bath and Body Works definitely hold off until they have their like two for twenty for their three wick and pick up too because they're so good if you love fall and you love like the air and the crispness of the weather you just definitely need to get this for your house and then the most random thing <laughs> I was cleaning on um, the other day and I was using this and I was just like wow I like really I've never gotten excited over a cleaning product in my life um, my mom would be so proud but <laughs> when I was using this I was like this stuff's really good like I need to tell people about this and YouTube favorites would be the perfect opportunity. It's the Pledge Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner. If you are a homeowner or an apartment owner or whatever, if you live in a space that you have to keep clean yourself, pick this up at the drugstore, the drugstore, the grocery store. So great. So I used to just use like the Pledge for the dusting and then you use like Windex for your mirrors and whatever other kind of cleaners. This is multi-surface. You can use this on absolutely everything. So it's like all-in-one, multifunctional. You don't need to keep like five different cleaning products in each place where you keep your your cleaning products. You just keep like one in every, like we have one in our upstairs, one downstairs, one in our laundry room. Like just great. It cleans granite, which is crazy because usually you need like a special cleaner for granite. Metal, wood, and glass and electronics. So we just got brand new bedroom furniture and that's how we found out about this. The guy that delivered our furniture used this and um like cleaned everything when he dropped the furniture off and Nick was here I wasn't here and he was like it was amazing like it cleaned the surfaces of the counters and then our mirror and the room like it, he just used this and it cleaned everything so we went out and bought some and um really good stuff like I use this literally to clean my entire house and it's great because you don't have to switch up and use like Windex on the mirrors and you know, wood cleaner on the wood and stuff on the granite, like you just use this. So <laughs> I wanted to tell you guys about this because um, for the most part I feel like a lot of people probably clean in your everyday life. So uh, I definitely think this is worth it. I like the little nozzle too. Makes it really easy to get product out and spray out and it doesn't come out uneven. But um, yeah. So the back says it cleans virtually any surface safely and effectively. Wood, wood, laminate, glass, mirrors, stainless steel, plastics, granite, marble, chrome, electronics, and more. We even have like a stainless steel cleaner for our refrigerator and our appliances, but we've just been using this, which is great. So random, but I hope it helps someone. So that is it for my September favorites. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and had a great month, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye.